not so much successful or why are like you still in business why are you able to be in business and um i came up with um the success and survival um you want to be successful and in order to be successful you have to survive so the longevity of your fund is um is it is in question um what that means is <clears throat> You have you have the hedge fund. The hedge fund is more of a proprietary, proprietary um, business uh, investment versus the traditional uh, mutual funds and and those things. Um, there are things that you can do inside the hedge fund that you can't do in those things. So you're you you have a broader uh, scope of 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 the regulate the regulatory aspect. What that means is you don't have to keep up with the crowd. You know, um, hedge funds, uh, they come and go just like any other business. But what happens is the um, to be successful, what, what I teach, um, what, I, what I speak with managers when, we, when they're interested in getting on the exchanges, you want to be able to, you have to be able to train your team. Now, I don't tell them how to do this. That's all on them. But from my experience... And um, you want to simplify, simplify your decisions. You want to make your decision making simple. Um, that way to execute your orders or to carry out whatever it is your team has to do. It's not because, again, you know, people do have regular lives. Everybody's not a manager. Everybody's not a secretary. Um, it's good to know if everyone can do, you know, every other person's job. But you're dealing with a tight group of individuals and um, again, people have their, their lives and what, what happens is, um, sometimes, you know, human beings tend to lose focus. So what you have to do is you have to simplify things. If you want to get done things, if you want things to get done, um, correctly, um, you have to have a commitment to deliver, um, <clears throat> looking at what we're doing here. Here's a good example. We have, uh, we have a new fund coming out. And I'm I'm really a big part of it, but we're focusing through one of our a new a new thing in the industry is is your own banking, so we have ATB Bank, okay. So this fund's coming in, and I think it's a, uh, Cynic, Cretan, Dunigi, and and something, a bunch of partners coming in, and you're doing urban development. So there's a lot of cleanup. There's a lot of not cleanup, but there's a lot of um, there's a lot of take. See, in the beginning, because you're coming in, because this is where the expansion is taking place. So you're coming in and you're taking, you're taking, you're taking, because you're thinking about the next day. You know, you're not thinking about making money now. You're thinking about later, because this is where the economy grows inside the cities. And this is the only thing that that fund um, deals with. But that's a whole other ball of wax. But what happens is they're getting their funding. They want to get their um, their principal base funding from from us atb bank so we have to we're looking at this this ideology to be big in the market because i've seen other people do it and it's it's like the, the money's a wash you know it's like perfect i mean there's no strings attached you 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 sign on every line everything is yours everything is yours yours and and you even the money comes back to you so it's like a sweet sweet deal the more the better but, you know, hedge funds, we deal with a lot of money. So we're looking about 15 million. First, we had a 5 million um, round of applause, what we call raising capital. And we want to take that up to 15 million. So we're almost halfway through the first phase. And then we're going to come back with two more uh, in this fall and, 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 and again next summer to close out. And then, we, you know, we'll be regularly be ready to get into it. Um, so you have to have the commitment to deliver. <clears throat> what that means is when I say, OK, we're going to do this. Um, we're going to raise this capital here. We're going to do this road like this. We're going to sit down with these people like this. I have to hold myself accountable. I have a commitment to deliver to my team, which enables my team to deliver the product in outstanding fashion with no complaints, no everything. The rhythm, everything is perfect depending on how you look at it, you know, your language. Um, 
I, you, you can't never stress, you hear risk management very often, you can't, you can't stress it enough. You can't, stress, you can't stress it enough. The whole idea is to mitigate the risk, to mitigate loss, to make sure that your, your product comes out and it's what you say it is. You know, you, you, you don't want to say, well, this is a duck, and then the guy takes it off and the duck starts barking, and he says, no, this is a duck. You don't want that to happen. And it happens, but you make sure that you, it doesn't happen. That's why you, you train your team properly. You do not exceed your parameters. If this is your goal, then this is your goal. Stop. If I say I need to make, I need to raise a million dollars in three months, in 90 days, by the end of the quarter, I raise a million dollars, we're done. Oh, well, this guy wants to put 250,000. We're done. Don't exceed your parameters. Don't try to be a superhero. Um, simplify your decisions. Have a commitment to deliver. Um, you can focus around your mission statement. And you can't stress um, risk management enough. The second part is the survival. Um, usually, you, you know, you get a, it's about evolution. It's about evolution in business. Um, we could remember when apples were a quarter. When uh, I remember my first time I tied, learned how to tie my shoes, my dad gave me a dollar and I took it down to the store and I bought me and my friends four cans of soda. Um, one of those cans today, uh, a Coca-Cola can is, uh, <clears throat> actually I got a Pepsi. I couldn't even drink half, it was the nastiest thing I ever tasted. So, soda was a quarter back then. I was six, that might've been 1975 or 78 or something. What does it cost now? So that's a, that's a part of evolution. <clears throat> you need quantitative strategy to survive evolution. That's including inflation, um, um, entry and, and exit barriers of your business. You know, sometimes you can get into a business, but it's not that easy to get out of the business. You know, let's say here a lawn company. We have a, a landscaping company that we formed down here just to just to match some profit. And um, really, it was a competitive thing. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, you make contracts with people. You know, you say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut your business for the next six months or for the year. And they might pay you half the money or even all of it. And then you sit down and you say, well, you know what? I don't want to cut. I don't want to do this anymore. So what do you do? You have to find somebody that they're comfortable with to come in and, and, and do the service. You know, it's not that easy. To, it's, sometimes it's easy to get in, but it's not easy to get out. Then, you know, you, you know, some people just drop the ball. They say, you know what? These six people I got working for me, they don't need a job anymore. They can go about their business. You know, to me, that's unethical in business. You know, you want to at least help them to find another job before you shut the business down. But again, that's neither here nor there. So it's part of the evolution and the quantitative strategy, which is very important. Um, human beings, they evolve together. And whole groups of human beings survive together. So when, you, when you're talking about evolution, like we all evolve. But in the industry, whole groups of people evolve. And they put me mechanisms and things in a way to, 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 to create regulation, which enables the business to, to like stride. It like gets over that hump. And then what happens is you can go on. And the people that are coming behind you, they have to get over that hump to get into the business. Um, it's, some people say it's not good, but it's fair because it protects the business. Regulation protects the business. That's what it's designed for. Um, working together. To put everything in a nutshell, working together is what will get your business going. If you have people that are willing to work together, that are comfortable working together, there is no doubt that your business is going to grow. And that's part of the evolution um, survival thing, what we talk about in business, what I was asked to elaborate on you for. Um, diversified correlation is hard to find. It's getting harder to find in the alpha because the market's so vast. The market like breaks down into sectors and then inside those sectors, there's more industry. And if you just look at it, it's a group like this, but there's more things coming in where you got to like chop it up a little more and you know, disseminate, just like look and say, well, you know, these are actually part of this. And this is a whole new thing here. You know, that's how fast the markets are going. And then we have the emerging markets, which makes it very difficult for the alpha. You don't just have a, you know, a Russia, China, US now. You have a, wow, you have Kuwait. You mean, you have so many 
little guys that are coming up, they don't carry the same weight, but they're very, very powerful. And the amount of capital that they have and can manage and can raise will blow your mind, some of them. You'd be like, that little guy right there has more money than this. It's like, yeah, really. So that's something you have to think about when you're looking for the alpha because the alpha is the easy way out. It's like once you get the alpha, you're in the money. You know, your business is going to, it has an idea that um, it's not like monopolized, but what would happen is you can, you can, you can eat. I mean, you can, you can make a business off of it. You know what I'm saying? Because the world is going to come around you. People from the world are going to start pointing in your direction and bringing their partners and their friends and their business ideas to you. <clears throat> Um, deregulating the regulation people like run from regulation <clears throat> is especially in the financial sector um, this is the obvious um, excellence creativity new ideas and um, my favorite moving forward because if you're thinking about the future you have young people with ability and vision and here at IZ Corp that is very very important because we have a simple thing like we have the well-off fund in the well-off fund it's just a simple save and protect you wouldn't believe how easy it is to just be financially free and that's what we teach at the well-off fund which is a which is a, which is a hedge fund on the uh on the exchange by the way and we have some very good managers very very good managers working there and if you would just take a young person and started just investing in them, investing in them. By the time they're 40 or by the time they're 50, especially if they had a career and they were, they wouldn't even be thinking about, um, they would be already in the preserving your wealth part. Most people today, um, oh, my credit is bad. Oh, I have, so they're still in to create the wealth. Halfway through your life, you're trying to create the wealth. See, that's why we like the young people because with the ability and the vision they have today, and you and you and you multiply that by the technology, your business can can really can really um, see the future and and be around and be successful. Um, <clears throat> business that are very you know you um, you know capitalizing there becomes reporting, so that is a very very uh, very important aspect of the business because what happens is. The more money you make, the more you're going to have to report it. And you have to have, you have to make sure your investors are, are, are satisfied. And more importantly, you have to make sure that you fall under the guidelines of, um, of the regulation. And that's, that also keeps the, the industry and the business going. Um, it's not more, it's not more about your product. It's more about the people. Um, what we do at IZ Corp, we have a mantra that says, you know, <clears throat> our business fits your needs. You know, we're looking, we, 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 we can develop products to fit your need. You know, this isn't like, oh, well, we only change tires here. You know, if you need to get a radiator leak, you need to go somewhere else. And I, I don't know anybody who does that. That's not what IZ Corp is about. It's about finding financial solutions, solutions for business needs. If your need is this business, we can find it for you. We can make it happen for you. Um, it just depends on the, the type of business you, as you know, not all businesses qualify to meet the exchange. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't mean that you're not successful. It's just the type of business and the people that are in that you work with and, and associated with it in your business. You know, it's like you say, well, who wants trouble? You know, so that's the one way of looking at it. And that helps you keep up with the world that is constantly changing. Um, what well, is like a million topics and conversations right off the top of my head and uh about change in the world and ever since i've been a young child and a young man until now and people say you're still young um the change is